Mac Gwynn did not give up. He continued to manufacture the firearm and with modifications for the commercial market. The earliest civilian model, if you will, of Bushmaster assault pistol I have is this one. It uses an aluminum lower with an aluminum upper, anodized black. The location of the charging handle has been changed to the top of the firearm. The safety continues to be an AR-15 M16 type safety mounted on the fire control group at the rear. The magazine is released the same way. We have few, if any, differences to the main mechanism of the gun other than adopting the aluminum upper and changing the location of the charging handle. This gun, however, appears to have been fitted with a retrofit kit made by Gwynn Firearms, which offered a rear sling swivel and rear sight that would pivot with the gun, a front sling swivel, and a faux XM177 type flash hider, which proved to be very popular on these guns because in the 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge, they were extremely loud and penetrating, and even with ear protection, they are simply horrible to shoot. One thing I should point out is the way the gun is shot is to swivel the mechanism for the trigger and handguard from the rest of the firearm and then you grab the firearm like this with the rear of the firearm resting on your forearm and the front of the firearm being there and the gun in this incarnation with the top charging handle is ambidextrous you can rotate it over and a left-handed shooter can use it. And you can see that the front sight remains with the barrel. You can loosen an Allen screw at the rear to bring the rear sight over for left-handed use. This gun is a serial number under a thousand. It appears to be numbered in a different serial numbering system than this early gun, which has a J-series serial number and the J-series may indicate that they were used by the Air Force. The internals are precisely the same, just the difference in the exterior of the gun.